Hi, welcome to our math lesson. Today we'll be learning how to subtract numbers. So the aim of today's lesson is to learn how to subtract multi-digit numbers. There are some few vocabulary I want you to take note of. First is the word subtract. Subtract is just taking away from a group or a number of things. And there are other ways you can say subtract. Words like minus, less, decrease, take away, or deduct. Now regrouping, another way of saying it is borrowing. This describes the process of changing groups of ones into tens so that your addition and subtraction can be easier. Also, in subtraction, you regroup or borrow when the number you are subtracting from is smaller. And column is just stacking up numbers vertically so the digits line up. Our learning objective is to subtract multi digit numbers using column method. And there are three success criteria we can use. First, that you can stack up the multi-digit numbers on top of each other. Second, that you can also align the units, the tens and hundreds digits in their respective columns. And third, that you can even subtract, including regrouping or borrowing if necessary. So how do we go about subtracting these? 135 take away 27. First is to stack up the numbers over each other. But a caution here, you cannot reverse these numbers. You can never have the 27 written first. So you have to write the 135 take away the 27. Now next, I align, when I'm writing them, I align the units, the tens, and the hundreds. And if I now draw a line underneath and put a minus sign, just to remind me, now I can subtract. Now, 5 take away 7, it is not possible. So what I need to do is to borrow one from the three. So if I borrow one from the three, two will remain, and I'll bring that one to the five to make it 15. Now, 15 take away seven is eight. Now, two remained here. I'll take away another two, and that'll give me a zero. And one take away nothing is one. Right, how do I go about subtracting these numbers? 426 take away 58. The first step is to stack up the numbers. But remember, I cannot write the 58 first. So 426 take away 58. Now, when I do that, I make sure that the units align in the column the tens align in, the, in their column, the hundreds align in their column. Now, I can now draw a line beneath, put my minus sign, just to remind me is it's minus, and start my subtraction. Six, take away eight, is not possible. Six is smaller than eight. So I have to borrow a one from the two here in the next column and bring it here. When I do that, one remain. So now I read this as 16. 16 take away 8 is 8. Now in this column, 1 was remaining. So 1 take away 5 is not possible. So I have to come and borrow a 1 from here, from the 4. Uh, 3 will remain, and I'll bring the 1 here and read this as 11. Now 11 take away 5 is a 6. And in my last column is 3, take away nothing, is 3. 
So my answer is actually 368. Now what I want you to do is to pause the video and do this subtraction. We'll look at the answers in the next uh, slide. How did you do? Now, what you were giving was 402, take away 15. So the first is to stack up the numbers. Remember, you cannot do the inverse. You can't write the 15 first. So it's 402, take away 15. When you do that, you see the units column will line up um, in the same column, the tens in the same column, and the hundreds in the same column. Now, all you need to do is put a line beneath them, put a minus sign just to remind yourself that it's minus, and start your subtraction. Now, starting from the right, 2 take away 5 is not possible because 2 is smaller than 5. So I have to come and borrow a 1 from uh, the tens column, but there's a problem. There is no number there is 0. So I have to come to the 4 to borrow uh, a 1. Now I cannot just borrow a 1 and bring it straight here. I must first bring it to the tens column. So making a 10. But that is not where I need to start. So I have to borrow 1 from the 10. 9 will remain and I bring that 1 here making a 12. So now 12 take away 5 is a 7. And over here 9 take away 1 is 8. 3 take away nothing is 3. So now what I want you to do is to pause the video and go and do the work. You've got work for mild, for medium, and for hot. Please, the answers will be in the work. Do not look at the answers first. Do the question and then you can check your answers and mark them. Now what I want you to do is to select one question you really did well at and uh, show a guardian or a sibling if they are busy how you did it. Just for reflection, now were you able to stack up the multi-digit numbers on top of each other? without reversing them? Were you also able to align the units, the tens and hundreds digits in their respective columns? Were you able to subtract, including regrouping if necessary? Now, if you were able to do all that, well done. You can now subtract multi-digit numbers using column method.